Okay, so what we're going to be doing now, we're going to be checking for air leaks on the vehicle and checking the braking system. Now, as you probably realise, we didn't get too much involved in it on the daily walk around checks. I'm now going to explain to and show you how you would check the air system on the vehicle and what you need to be doing on a daily basis. So on this particular vehicle, to get the air tanks up or the air pressure gauges up, you have to go into the diagnostics on here. So if you click it once and on your dashboard, it then gives you another menu and option. We want vehicle information, so we click on it again. And then we get another three options. The, way, the one we want is air supply. Click on the air supply. It then gives you a digital readout here showing you what you actually got in your air tanks. Now you've got three colours here, red, yellow and green. We want it in the green at all times. That means it's obviously working correctly. Now, at the moment it's in yellow, so what will happen now is the warning lights will come up to tell me that I've got a low air pressure. So to build my air pressure up, I need to fast idle the vehicle and start the engine. And that makes sure that the compressor is working. So neutral, handbrake applied and start the engine. Now you don't have to rev it ridiculous. All you need to be doing is taking it just into the green band and just maybe holding it just over a thousand revs. And all you're doing now is watching the dials, making sure that the air pressure is building up slowly. And the minute it gets into the green, you know you're okay then. So he's just literally sitting here waiting for it to build the air pressure up. Okay, they've both now gone into the green. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to turn the engine off. And then I'm going to turn the ignition back on again. I just need to get my air tanks back up on the dashboard again. And what I'm actually doing now is checking, without the engine running, that it's actually holding the air into the, in the system and that them gauges are not dropping due to an air leak. So I'm happy with that. Turn the ignition off. What I'm now going to do is now I'm going to climb out the vehicle safely and now I'm going to do the exterior check, checking for any air leaks on the vehicle. So same system applies, checking behind you. I'm going to quit walk, open the door fully onto the door catch three points of contact as I'm climbing out the vehicle. Right, so at this point now we've actually charged the air tanks up and we've got, we actually know we've got air in the system because we've just checked that. All right, so before I do the exterior walk around checks, what I'm gonna do at this point is, I'm gonna make sure that the brakes are actually holding the air correctly. Now the way to test for this is, if you press the brake pedal down, there should be no air escaping until you release the brake pedal. If you press the brake pedal down and you can hear air escaping, obviously there's a problem. You should not be taking the vehicle out on the road. Okay, so that's how you could check that. Now at this point, what you normally do is either get uh, the examiner or the assessor to help you or a work colleague to press the brake pedal down and you would walk around the vehicle yourself, making sure that each individual wheel, at the air tanks, at the air suspension, that there's no air leaks at all on the system. And it's up to the driver to check that. And that's why you mustn't have your engine running when you're listening for air leaks, because you won't be able to hear the air leak. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to be walking around, checking at each individual wheel on the braking system, making sure I can't hear any air leaks at all. I've already checked the brake pedal, and I've already done a walk around check that I'm happy there's no air leaks. So I'm going to walk around this way. Again, listening, the brakes, now it's a pressurised system, so the engine doesn't need to be running. If there was an air leak, I would hear it now. So it's continuing down here. Now at the back of the vehicle here, we've got the, we've got the brakes, and we've also got the air suspension at the back, the airbags. Again, make sure you can't hear any air leaks at all from the vehicle at this point. And then again, walking around the other side. And we've got the air suspension there and we've got the braking system here as well making sure there's no air leaks at all when you stood here and the question you need to ask yourself is would you take this vehicle out if you had an air leak my answer is no if you have found the video informative then please hit the like button down below to see more module 4 and all other content relating to your transport training needs then please feel free to subscribe to our youtube channel you can also click on the bell icon to stay notified of any new content added to our channel so that you never need to miss out. Thank you very much for watching today and see you next time on the next video.